Right, good morning guys. I'm once again out in the city of London. Right now, I'm not sure what the time is. I don't think my camera will tell me. But it's nearing on rush hour. So this is going to be about as busy as it gets. I'm out on the 85 mil there this morning. So I haven't been on this lens for a little bit. The last time I shot with it, I think, was uh, for a morning shoot. However, that one was a bit a bit nicer for an actual sunrise. I think we're just going to gradually get lighter and lighter today. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm going for. It has been raining all night and it is just due to clear up, but you know the weather forecast is never right, so I've got the lens hood with me just in case. And it has also been foggy all night, and I was hoping that it would stick around until I came out now, but I don't think it has looking up at the buildings, but you know, the rain's all you really need to get uh, some nice, very interesting looking photos. So we'll see what we can get with just that. Let's see if I can get that shot that I kind of missed with that one other time. Uh, preferably plenty of subjects today with umbrellas. It's a terrible place to cross. I say that like it's any fucking interesting at all, which it isn't really to be honest. I don't think we're going to get any particularly spectacular photos today, but we are out getting some, which is better than nothing, no? I don't know why I was focusing on that when I had the focus area specifically on for the first time. And it just proceeds to focus on Needle Room. <laughs> if that doesn't sum this camera up, I don't know what does. I really don't. Ugh. Definitely no fog left. It turns like a mist filter. I mean, you don't have to decide if you like any of these. I don't even know if I like them yet. This is a bus stop. I say that, this is a bus stop. It's quite cool, and I think she's in focus too. And so is that. I don't know, maybe we will get some cool shots today. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about these. I'll try one more. I'll try and get one subject. 
or just those. Yeah. The sort of photo is you either love it or you hate it. Right now I'm kind of in the middle. Early morning in London's hectic. Let's see. Walk through the light. Bueno. That's a really, I think a reflection from the Sky Garden sign is really cool there and it kind of separates the subject from the background. trying to stop and go today. I'm not taking any sort of well I am putting a bit of thought into it. I wouldn't stop and bother for the way it looks somewhat cool but you know what I mean yes. give the little look up to pretend you're shooting something else. See that just give it a little look around. If you look around the subject so that they don't think you're taking a photo of them, it's the way to go. You think, oh, they're just taking a picture of something, it's just a tourist. It's not random shots. Well, people would never think. That would be a decent shot, you know? but here we are. It's like someone with an umbrella. I'm not in the mood to wait today. Absolutely not. It's got reflections in the ground. To the subject. Let's get a look at the shot. Frame them, shot. Everyone's putting their umbrellas away because it is still spitting a bit, but it's not torrential. Woods fan. Subject on the road. Let's see. Times like this, you really just want to be shooting a bit of everything that happens, and you can review it afterwards. Can all focus anyway. Thing about coming out this time, like it is hectic, but it's a good sort of hectic, in my opinion. Flat 85 just a bit too punched in for this sort of street, but like the city of London, it's very close congregation of very narrow streets. It's obviously everywhere so old. That's why I love it so much. There's such a variety of stuff from hundreds of years ago, stuff that's literally being built now. I don't get why anyone hates it. Unless you're travelling through it at a time like this. 
but I've got all the time in the world today. I can take my time. But if you're on a schedule and you need to get through it, it's hectic. I can see why you might hate it. Fantastic. We've got to have this recording now so we can see just how many shots I missed because of focusing. not want to do is get in the way of a cyclist because they will let you know about it. I don't really realise until I go through edit the video look at the footage just how many people stare at the GoPro. And when it's darker like now with the red light flashing I guess it's a bit more obvious but I tried to wear all black on top so that uh, it's not that noticeable to be honest. Shot there I think. Not the best composition by me, but I was trying not to be too obvious that I was taking it. So none of these are going to be like great, well, for street the great, but um, in terms of visually mind-blowing photos, I don't think we're going to have too many today. Hmm. Still got from the last shot. I think when the ground's wet as well and you get the reflection in the water off the ground in my opinion that just takes fighters up so many levels Okay, on the way to the barbican, I've taken probably like two shots, 
since last spoke, I've more or less just been focused on getting here. Been focusing on not walking into people. But yeah, you know, I just like this building here. Wherever this entrance is. So yeah, I'm gonna try and sing out one subject as difficult as that's gonna be in these crowds and then carry on again. There's that guy. Okay, let's carry on. Let us proceed. Where is that building? It's my one, isn't it? Oh, he getting fat water drops land on my head. It's better than down my neck, I suppose, but still. It's quite nice there. I don't know if the 85 is going to be good for it. No, it won't, but... Uh, I think the 50 would be good here, to be honest. If you get someone crossing over... The thing is, if you get low down, in such dark conditions, they're kind of just going to blend in with that background there. I don't really want that. Perhaps I could do like a stack. I don't know if I want like that. I don't know if that's going to work. Probably should have took that landscape. We'll do it again, but in landscape. These two clubs. Step back just a bit. I think this guy's going to be perfect. I don't know if Ace Five's too pumped in to really try these stitching shots, but yeah, we'll see. If it's worked, I'll put it on the screen anyway. Right, let's climb up here. I think we either love or hate the Barbican. There's not really an in between. I personally, I come, I like, I like in doses. Like, I would hate to come here. Well, I wouldn't like to live here. I don't think. Definitely not. Ways up here, you can kind of look down on people. 85 is a bit too punched in to kind of get the whole sort of scene in, but you know, can't have it all. Well, I mean, you can. You can come with a 50 or a 35, but just just pretend that I know what I'm on about. I think what the Barbican as well is it's absolutely massive. I'm going to try and get someone about where that focus point is which looks like we're about to but there's two people there which isn't ideal but you know see if it works you know what I think actually does work so I'm going to they're kind of equal distance on the other side of the line in the middle so for me that kind of satisfies my I don't even know what it is autism Hey John, this would be a good shot to have one walking across the middle of the road. Let's just try and determine if we want. I think we definitely want landscape, preferably about there. So you can see what I mean now. I was talking about the barbican. Hang on, right, it's not just me waffling. Oh, I didn't end up crossing. Oh, I did. Well, bastard, cut through my hoodie slash whatever like my clothes you're wearing here we are it's good yeah squeak on my shoe then <laughs> just got another look down shot here if that van wasn't there this would be so good I thought this would be quite a cool stack shot to be honest. Let's 
so if he was there, we'll get one down here as well. I'll try and stitch those together, but I'm not going to promise anything. It's going to be a very narrow image, I think, with it being shot on 85 mil. Let's move on. Is these bricks are a bit gripped, but I just, every step I just slip. It's really starting to annoy me. It would have been even worse if I used my other shoes. That's quite a nice layered shot there. If we can get someone like walking through. It's a very good shot. I don't know how likely it is, but someone will be though. Hmm. The only really hope here is for this uh, litter picker plug. Here we are. My man. I don't actually focus that time, I think. I don't know for sure. Oh, this is nice. She's a bit too far away. But it's a definition of brutalist, isn't it? So what you find is gonna Not sure how likely someone is to walk across here, as I was saying. I don't know the traffic routes around here. Hopefully this bloke on the left or on the right takes a left and can get him. We put the sight mode. Let's see. So in the end we got something that was quite uh, what I was after. Um, as always, you get a weird look for it, but as long as you get the shot, you don't get punched in the face, I would count that as an absolute win. Alright, I'm going to change this GoPro battery. I'm going to head back towards Bank, I think. Testing. We are back. Last GoPro battery. Oh, this is where Stora did that thing. Is this graduation today? It's quite nice, just that bench there. Oh, I need to stop taking so many photos of a bench. Come on, Ben. You're better than that. But again, there's so many nice little like frames with it being so just the barbecue, just the way it is so brutal. It's so many angles and frames and just everything. I don't know why I don't come and shoot it more. I think I will do. I might just do a whole video dedicated to the barbican. If you'd like that, you made it this far in the video and you'd like me to do a whole video just dedicated to the barbican. I come here with the 50mm and the wide angle. Uh, then leave a comment, leave a like. about the work came more or less and then I can sort of loop back lap myself Ooh. you see now I'm thinking about the 7200 <laughs> I don't know if you can see but straight through there there's a walkway of people going across 85 just isn't quite far enough we have got some, I can crop in, but, yeah, let's see, it's definitely a one for the landscape, I think this is where security tends to be a bit more, uh, well it's just where there's more security, but no one's bothered me yet, 
I'm on my way out now anyway, so I'm not too fussed. Um, uh, let's see. Um, actually, these straight, like, almost like corridors with a single subject is really good. Sorry, can't see anything. There's a bloke over there. Nice reflection in the water as well. I don't know if I can use that in some way. Maybe if I frame someone between these pillars as well. The bloke It's like this, just a straight line. It's like if someone was walking towards us. very easy to get lost in this sort of complex. Well, I've got a bridge here, so you look. Some ear piercing sound. Whatever that is. Tesla. Um, Thank for all the people down there. She was just trying to avoid me. I got her anyway. <laughs> okay. I think we've left the Barbican now and we're sort of semi back in the city. What I'd consider the city anyway. Just getting another couple of look down shots before we move on. Gotta sort of scope out every looking cranny. Shots, but if I have done the screen, we're in a stop so we can put the lens hood back around the lens and it looks a bit better again. Let's see. Let's just let people walk into frame, it's a very efficient way of doing it. Crowd's finished. I can't trust this camera to get something in focus, but hopefully some of these will be. Bus driver.
so 500, see how that looks. Swing back round and. Um, so, I'm thinking about where we're going. Yes, just get in contact. Swing. May have been a bit bright, but it's cool nonetheless. to put someone. I was here with a 50 mil in that video. That's what the yeah this can work. Let's take a get two at the same time. I think that's where I'm going to end it for today. Very sort of different sort of streets I walk through, I think. It's definitely a lot less sort of looking for satisfying looking photos, definitely just more people focused. But if you did enjoy, uh, then please do leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.